was one of those things watching that documentary go out where we were gripped from the minute it started right through to the end. And because of everything we'd seen all the way through, because you'd been so authentic and it'd been so who you are, clearly, that moment of triumph at the end at the O2 was so exhilarating to watch. It was so emotional. Well, redemption um, kind of it really thing, felt yeah. like we lived it with you all the yeah. way through. We're watching some clips there. How do you feel watching it back, Matt? I just, I just feel, you know, really grateful that that people took it in the intention that it was it meant to be. It was, uh, it was. We were just, we gave edit rights away, and we just said, let's just have a waltz and all. You know, we didn't wow, want it to be. A, that, I mean, wasn't that scary to say? Very, yeah. We're putting a very public rift. We're very vulnerable, and we're mm. giving the power to you guys. We just didn't want it to be a promo piece, did we? No, I think if, like, exactly. What would be the point of just doing like a promo piece if you're going to do a documentary and it, it needs to be authentic, transparent, and yeah, otherwise you're patronising the audience, and also there, there's no point in doing it. But it was it was intimidating for sure. But it sure. built bridges, and we're closer than ever. So that's lovely to we hear as well. well. We didn't, you know, Not you should be fighting in your dressing rooms. We didn't. We did think about it this yeah, morning, we didn't did, we? We, we did. thought. But then, okay. I mean, the, you must watch it now, and I'm sure the two of you watch it, and you kind of hear the things that you've said, and the things that have been parodied, and the things that the, 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 the various quotes. How do you feel about some of those quotes? I think, now, I think again, like, you know, every, you, you know, you're in TV. We were edited, so the Stevie Wonder comment. I can see how funny it is, but the reality, Stevie Wonder was the literature that, of my childhood, and we were crippled by superstition. So. We just didn't want it to be a, you know, I still, you know, you believe in things that you don't understand and you'll suffer. I mean, that's, I still believe, I don't want to live in a place of fear and, uh, and, I, and, and I still hold true to it, but I do see the comedic side of it. So that quote was, just in case people haven't seen, they're going to go and watch it now, of course, <clears> was you, you said but about Stevie Wonder and his famous song, Superstition, I made a conscious decision because of Stevie Wonder not to be superstitious. Which is true. I mean, the thing is, I, I, I'm not going to say, again, it was a bit the the... the Precursor to that is what I just said. It's yeah. you know when you're a kid, we that was our literature. Music was our literature, and and we were crippled as a family of superstition, weren't we? Yeah, sure. You kind of you know that, that's true. But also when you're when you're speaking for eight months and you're you know a third of the answer is included, you have yeah. to live with it. And uh, Matt and I watched the film in Los Angeles, and we looked at it and said, I think we have a great a great film here. But it made me laugh it live, when I saw yeah. it. I understood the value of that, that yes. edit. Uh, there is, but there made so you very endearing I as well. So, sure. I, I mean, as, as an eminently quotable as well. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. Yeah, there are some fabulous Conquers, quotes. Come on, the Conquers quote, exactly. Go on, we, tell us about uh, that. We need then. A I mean, we're, we're just all we're a bit too PC. I mean, I think the British are known for our sense of humour. We're known to be. We're not. We're so politically correct. We're becoming that way, and that's not who the British are. To me, I think we're uh, a little I bit agree. bonkers. I think it's. I think we should never be encouraged to bonkers be afraid of each other. Chemistry is <laughs> a beautiful thing. Respect should be something we all respect expect of each other but um, I think chemistry and interaction is something we should we should fight for because it's how we communicate innately absolutely one, one and of... you only had you, we can't play conquers out because we were about safety <clears throat> but one of the things I loved about it is when you said when we were kids the only toy we had was a dart <laughs> not a dart board just a dart <laughs> and we throw it around <laughs> at each other that was true. it was it, we <laughs> tried it that way and we try and see how long we could my stand my granddad really did pull it out of my rib he just he went, there you go. <laughs> not fiction that was a true story <laughs> was uh, one of my favorite quotes if you don't mind I want indulge this to get your thoughts is the quote about Rome. Okay, but one of the management had said to me, guys, you know, Rome wasn't built on them. Like, dude, we got two weeks. <laughs> so it was a summary of that point. Yeah, so, yeah. It, you know, it, so the intention and the heaviness was because we'd but just been through... if we did through... have the time Rome had, it would have been a better gig, right? Mm. Yeah, it would have been perfect. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, I mean, you know, obviously we've had this extraordinary um, sort of wave of nostalgia since yeah. the uh, documentary. You've been nominated for three BAFTAs yeah, as well, amazing, yeah. which I think yeah. is reflective not only of the fact that everyone enjoyed it, but also how <laughs> well made it was. I mean, how do you feel about that, about the fact you're going to be sort of put on this stage on Sunday? with the best that the TV and film has to offer? I, I, feel, I feel, honestly, it, it was, there was a lot of pain that went into that making that film. Mm. We lost our mum, we lost our sister, and the reality is, art is the truth, and I think that... Um, I want to give credit to that as well, not just the, the, you know, how enjoyable the film was, it's just we really had to go through so much as a family to create that moment. So I think to, to be no, nominated by an institution like the BAFTAs is, is it almost a validation for us yeah. as a family. I, I've been in film for nearly 20 mm. years and, you know, we were working with a company, Fullwell, which, you know, they had an ethos that was extremely authentic and that's why I think one of the reasons the film is so successful and our contribution as well. But I think to be validated by the BAFTAs, it's a wonderful feeling. I mean, because, yeah, there's fun in there and there's, there's tragedy in there, but... Um, like Matt said, it's a, it's a genuine, genuine honour to be included in that event. It's That's an institution. Coming out of America, yeah. America uh, is it? Uh, in a couple of weeks, and we just time. Uh, so you know, it's, it's going to be exciting. 
And, of course, it's called after the screaming stops because of the famous quote that yeah. Terry Wogan asked you yes. at the height, what happens when the teenagers and the fans yeah. stop screaming? And you had that moment and you went through it. Mm -hmm. And part of what watching it is watching you kind of rebuild and see what you've been doing since. Um, and we're talking this morning about Freddie Starr mm. because he's passed away. And you get the feeling that he didn't cope so well when the screaming and, and the, the popularity stopped. I mean, you actually appeared on his show. I did, I worked with him and he was a, an absolute professional. He, he was always on, he was whether in behind the camera or in front. We did a skit together, really fun, Brilliant. amazing memory together. And we were both literally <laughs> crying with laughter. But I have to say, I think, you know, it's a great, it's a nice thing to mention because whether somebody's at the height of their fame mm -hmm. or in one of the valleys of success, you know, be, be nice to them. Be, you know, I say that to the public. Be nice. Be, also, be, fame doesn't tough. fame doesn't go away. Freddie Starr is always going to be Freddie Starr. So, yeah. no matter what, if he's on a, a national TV show and it's number one show, or he's Freddie Starr, he's still Freddie Starr. You can sure. still hard for him to walk down the street and be that famous. Yeah, I mean, it's so a great fame loss. doesn't go away. No. It's a huge loss. Uh, let's talk about what you've been doing since, though. Of course, uh, mm. are we getting more music? Is there albums coming? There's going to be more gigs. Yeah, we're doing. Uh, we're playing uh, Brixton Academy uh, July fifth. Can't wait. Uh, it's going to be a noisy gig. It's going to be really... really Have you got more than two weeks to get it together, though, Luke? <laughs> two and a half weeks. Two and a half weeks. <laughs> and are you doing another documentary? There's rumours that you might be doing another documentary? We're definitely in talks uh, in numerous uh, big production houses, about, but we're definitely in talks about another film, yeah. And what about new music and Abs an album? Is that happening? Is that done? A absolutely, yeah. We're, we're in talks with a bunch of companies. We're trying to find the right home, basically. But uh, Matt and I are going to make an album. We want to make new music and... Uh, I, th I personally feel, I think you'd agree, it's going to be hopefully the best Bross album we've ever made. So. Yeah. Undoubtedly. Look, I, it's, it's lovely to see you both looking so yes. well, looking so happy, and, and most yes. importantly, together. Uh, yes. Good luck on Sunday. Thank we'll you see so you there. And a big thank you so for everybody. It's, yeah, yeah. it's an amazing it's reaction. It's good to be home. We, we landed, we landed uh, yesterday, and it's just amazing to be home.